diesel wagons are rare in the US, yet two-thirds of all Kia Optima sales in Europe are expected to be the wagon and the volume powertrain is a turbo diesel. Intrigued by this forbidden fruit, I recently spent some time in the English countryside driving a new Kia Optima diesel wagon in attractive GT Line S trim. Although a diesel-powered wagon definitely won't reverse the US market's transition away from sedans and toward crossovers, keep reading for insights on the English spec Kia, whose lengthy name is officially the Optima Sportswagen 1.7 CRD GT Line S. Kia does offer the Optima wagon with a manual transmission diesel combo, but our loaded tester mated the engine to a 7-speed twin-clutch automatic. The 1.7-liter turbo diesel puts out just under 140 horsepower at 4,000 rpms and 251 pounds FT of torque from 1,750 to 2,500 rpm. For comparison, the 1.6-liter turbo diesel offered in the Chevrolet Equinox and Cruze produce 137 horsepower and 240 pounds FT. On the road, the Optima diesel wagon performed adequately most of the time, but by American standards it was underpowered. With a manufacturer estimated 0-60 mile per hour time of 10.7 seconds, passing took some planning. In most other driving circumstances, the 1.7-liter diesel and transmission proved responsive and mostly kept to the background, just don't plan any spirited winding road carving in this one. Where the twin-clutch transmission made itself known more than I would have liked was in stop-and-go traffic. When easing off the brake slowly, the car shuddered a bit, like some other cars with twin-clutch transmissions, once you escaped that traffic, though. The Optima was quiet at speed except for a little tire noise. The Kia gets a passing grade when it comes to rear seat functionality. I always appreciate it when wagons and crossovers allow me to fold down the rear seats from the cargo area, and in the Kia, the 40-24-teeth split seats fold forward after you pull a lever on either side of the cargo area. One cool wagon specific feature, those rear seats recline, and that's not something most reasonably priced sedans can claim. The cargo area is flat, and there is some hidden space beneath the floor too, 